Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episodes 9 and 10 of season 2 of Izzy Order Wrap It. Okay, let me go ahead and say this before we get started. I am sorry this didn't come out last Wednesday. Since last week was Thanksgiving, I kind of didn't want to have a lot of things come out um, between the day before Thanksgiving and the day of and the day after. <clears throat> and I forgot to literally put on my community tab that I was going to postpone it because I did it for Patreon and I think the day that I um wrote the comment on there I literally forgot to do is Yoda Rabbit and then by the time I remembered I was like oh my god so yeah we're going to go ahead and watch 9 and 10 today I just woke up from like a three maybe four hour ish nap I am high I'm still a little sleepy it is still Sunday, and <laughs> I still got a couple other things to do before my day is over. So other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. I gotta make sure my There we go. I know. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Are we finally going to go into the backstory of the rivalry? No, maybe. Okay, now here's the funny thing. Remember the last time when we, when I first started this show? And I told you guys, I the only thing I knew about the show was the fact that J, uh, Japan or JP Bundy had did their collab like a while ago. Well, officially as of three days ago or really two days ago, because today is the third day of the collab. Um, Ian had their collab. <laughs> so I played all the songs. We only had three songs and got through that they got costumes and like a uh, latte art and stuff and so it was so cute i kind of wish like what they did instead of giving us free costumes for it because like i think the next following collab is the rosalia collab with ed zero uh, no re zero which they've already done for e um if not Ian, jp they should have did a gotcha for this instead of giving us free costumes but you know it's okay i liked it but the thing is my best band rosalia didn't deal with this collab they have the ReZero collab, which who knows when it's going to come to EN, and that's going to be sometime next year. But it was cute to hear them, like, each band sing the song. Like, Popping Party had season one song. Um, Hello Happy World had this song. And Pastel Palettes had the ending theme to this season. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, babe. <laughs> yeah, probably. You think Shadow's going to know about the rockery pass? <laughs> yep, we just go in and BDSM, you know, freaking Blenna's. Why did that just give me like expectation versus reality feels like in your mind this is what you wanted to be but in real life it's just like yeah we're not gonna have that whip 
You're not gonna get that melon pawn. Poor Shadow. Oh, I am a high! See, look, let's just be really happy for a second because, you know, last Saturday, because my favorite voice actress is in the fate, fate granddaughter of Babylonia. My best girl is gone. And so I'm like, oh my god, wait. She's still in this show. She's not gone. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That's Aoyama for you. Push out of. That girl is, oh my god. Oh. See the way she pulled Shadow. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense though. That's true. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys ever, like, have kids and have husbands and your kids ever wonder, Mom, how did you do me? You can just tell them the story. Oh, yeah, my friend almost tried to kill me. And kids be looking at their moms like, what? <laughs> Oh, God. How the hell did you open that door? <laughs> yeah, you don't need any violence. It's just an old rivalry. Hey, well, most restaurants or, um, you know, cafes do have a secret menu. Hmm. 
I thought the cactus was shaped like a bunny for a second. So <laughs> like, ah! Maybe. See, you know, sometimes I think the rabbit at <laughs> Chia's place is her grandmother secretly. I mean, come on, because Tippy is the grandfather. Wouldn't it make sense for that bunny to be her grandma? Then maybe you guys should do another collab. Except, you know, modernize it now. <laughs> oh, no, there's a grandma. So cute. Ah! Please, no. Oh, Tina, you know, you're like so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, at your place, you wear like this cute, not really trend. Oh my god. <laughs> That was fucking cute. It, it's still no matter what Chia does it always makes me freaking hilarious to know that yes that's Ritsu's voice actress from K-On and it makes so much sense why she is <laughs> ah! but she's so extra look at her oh my god <laughs> Hey, Maya. Well, what about Mango? Well, that how the Mango might want to work where Shadow's working on. So then that would make the most sense. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. My baby, she's so adorable. Oh, yeah, it looks so cute with her hair down. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs>
Mm, yeah, well, you know, she's an elder. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, it was a really good impression shot. I'm like, oh my god. I mean, Sheena. Sheena! <laughs> No, Coco. Oh, it's so cute! Oh my god! I mean, wouldn't it just be better if Mayu and Megu work there? I mean, because then she has someone. She has company because then all she has really is a grandma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All three of the kids are just going to be there for three days. I mean, it's cute. Maybe, like, it, it seems like a good reason to have them work there just for the experience because, I mean, they all little kids. They're going to have to get a job eventually, you know? Oh. Oh, Shadow, oh, that's so sweet. The <laughs> <laughs> Chia. That's because she didn't let her get a, only like one or two, three words in. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't really go that long. Here comes Shadow. Aww. 
Yeah. <laughs> that is her inner Ronco speaking like, oh my god. <laughs> because in the end, all Ronco care about is herself. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, Idol Master Cinderella Girls. Go watch that anime. Is, yeah, that is the struggle of having big boobs. <laughs> no wonder why. <laughs> Thank God that's not, well, no. Yeah, that's never happened to me. I've never had a button pop off, but like any shirt button up shirt that I wear instantly looks sexified and I'm like I'm not trying to sex up my shirt. It happens. <laughs> mm, poor coconut. She is in hard headed, but that's cocoa for her, for her, you know. You'll probably sex it up. <laughs> Honestly, that was like the cutest fucking episode I've ever seen entirely for the series, other than. Chino getting drunk. That was the best thing ever. Like, oh my god. Having my little child getting drunk <laughs> on alcohol with chocolate in it. Best thing ever. But it was interesting to have all three girls have a work experience at each of the cafes. Now it kind of makes me wonder because, like, we've technically seen both Cocoa and um, Chino both work at um, Chia's place. And you kind of really want, I, I, you know, there's been times when they worked at a, other places and stuff. But I still want to see, like, Shadow go work, like, somewhere else. I mean, even though Shadow has, like, a bazillion freaking jobs. I mean, girl, girl's out there getting her moolah. She lived by herself. She got to pay rent. She got to pay her bills. She's a, and this is why I love her. She's an independent woman. She on her own. Because, I mean, like, they haven't really explained her situation her, for her family I think season one did, but since that was such a long time ago, though. But at the same time, no, it didn't. I mean, because that's when we all thought she was a rich girl, but she wasn't. I mean, but still, why did you explain about your parents? Like, what the hell? <laughs> I've missed this song. Oh, my God. Hearing the, <laughs> the pure palette, pure palette, raw, raw one, pastel palette singing. I don't know. It just, it's good, but it's not as good because of the fact that it's like, it was only one person singing it for the band cover, and for this one, it's all three girls. And it's like, oh my god, is that supposed to be um, what the fuck is that game? Uh, it, it's a Nintendo game, and I can't think. It, it's, it's Samus, I believe. I don't know because I've never played it. But the outfit is very, you know, <laughs> chia because it is sexified. But yeah, it, it's freaking hilarious because yes, out of all the girls, freaking Liz. And she <laughs> Liz and Chia have like the biggest moves out of everybody. So of course you you got the little kids like extremely jealous, especially Chino because Chino looking at her and then Chino looks at herself and they're like, I'm never gonna be like that. And then 
it, it's worse for all the other girls because they're like, oh my god, like, look at these. Like, even when Best Girl Darkness came in a few weeks ago, Darkness had something. And, but still, it was like, and I heard, like, what? <laughs> but it's like, it's okay. You, you know, you're gonna grow up, but you know, you're just like, you know, you're at like the kid stage still. Even if you are a teenager and you're already wearing a bra and everything, and you're in high school and you're thinking, no, I'm never gonna get like, be like a B, C, D cup. You're always going to be an A cup. You'll be like, mm, you poor little baby. Like, mm, you'll never have bigger ones. <laughs> it's okay. It just makes me laugh. But the fact is, like, she wore it and then it just popped off. <laughs> and, like, it just, you know, it's just the weakness. The, the things, of, the reason why God gave us big boobs and stuff. And sometimes there are days where you love having big boobs. And then there are days where you don't. And I have both days. Like, if I'm wearing just, like, a regular freaking outfit. Like, a regular, just either a regular shirt or even a button-up shirt. Or just a shirt that's, like, a little bit, like, the Air Apostle button-up shirts that are, like, maybe just a little bit. No matter what the heck I wear, it looks sexified. And it's just, like, <laughs> at first, like, when I was a teenager, like, no. When I was a little kid. Going into a teenager, I would always hate it. And then now eventually, you know, as a 26-year-old, I'm like, honestly, I don't give up anymore. I'm like, it's there. It's all there. And sometimes, yeah, I have to, like, rearrange my shirt or my bra. And that's why I always say sorry, because I'm like, hey, this ain't what I'm really supposed to be doing. <laughs> I don't mean to do it, but it's like, when it bothers you, it bothers you. But, like, I mean, you know, Liz... <laughs> Gia, they understand. That's the big boob gang. Like any character. And I always sympathize and relate to the ones that have like boobs at the end too. Because I'm like, yep, that's that struggle we have. <laughs> like, don't get me started on Gabriel Dropout. Because, like, oh my god, when I was watching that show, when I did reaction on that show so long ago, I think about like almost three years ago as well, since I've been on here on YouTube for three fucking years. But. <laughs> Never gonna forget that one episode that focused on, um, not Gabriel, but, uh, I think it was Raffi, who was my best girl, and the fact that she got a bra and it was, like, too tight, and <laughs> I was like, oh god, I know that feeling, I know that feeling, because I've had one that's too tight, and I'm like, <laughs> and you're, like, trying to hold it. <laughs> Like, I was like, oh my god, that's why I love anime, because anime can be so relatable at times, and you're like, bitch, that's me! <laughs> oh my god, I missed this show. Alright, go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 10. Alright, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Basketball? Oh, please. Y'all gonna say me spit out my water, girls. Mm-hmm. And we're... Poor baby. Yeah, that's all she really wanted. Good. Yeah, but what club would you have joined? No, I think she likes working there, but...
<laughs> uh, my drunk daughter on coffee. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but if it's just practice, shouldn't you just be, like, level one? Yeah, there's way too many clubs and you're helping way too many. <laughs> of course. And then whoever wins, you're just going to tell the secrets of Miss Emerald. Is it a bunny girl outfit? Looks like I can't remember her name. 
She's in freaking Revy Starlight for the game. <laughs> well, god dang, how many games are we doing today? Come here, Cuddy. I'll pop, I'll hop you up. Come here. You can do it. You you can wait the line. You got this. You got this. Let me help you, babe. Stop. There you go. A smaller target. That's just your love for Liz, babe. The stuff on Miss, you know, Miss Emerald, I'm guessing. Hey, Cody. Come on. So we know her name is Midori. So I wonder what she could possibly be doing now. Yeah, in a way, her, her story is a little mystery. You just only know her first name. I like your hair down, but you know, if you go, if you go to the cafe, if you go to Rabbit House. Okay. Delivering letters. That's all. Look at this <laughs> cheerful, happy girl. That is a sign of a girl in love. But she's always been in love with her, so. Aoyama, do you know me, buddy? So 
not meat all day, is it? Are you Melody? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> oh what? She was trying. It would make sense that her name is Mirodi because she's so freaking gorgeous. I can imagine it. You have the love her. The best woman in this damn series. Cocoa, you know, Chino don't want to play. Out. She literally looks like my baby Alice. Oh my god. No matter what freaking Chia wears, she looks like Tomoyo from Karga Mizukura. Oh my god. And freaking Tomoyo had like, Tomoyo and Sakura had the best mother effing outfits in the dang series. Tomoyo always looks like a godforsaken mo- <laughs> Tomoyo always looks like a model in anything she wore. I mean, same thing with Sakura, but still. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All by yourself. I walk the lonely road. <laughs> Let me guess, you're running away from... <laughs> of course. Bye, Aoyama! Poor baby. I have to worry about her editor. But what do I also think something was in the coffee maker? Don't bust open that door. No. Oh. Oh. Me in the mornings. Oh! 
Oh. Yeah. Those that she was sending out with, you know, Sato. Right. Apparently you didn't like Cocoa. Uh, apparently so. <laughs> oh yeah, because when she was talking to Aoyama then <laughs> See the more I hear um not Megu, Mayu. Mayu sounds like Nico, and I think that is Nico's voice actress. Because somebody did say Nico's in here, and I'm like, okay, who does he play? <laughs> Maybe you should just force the door open. I mean, that would be a better idea than... Or, nope, Chino's gonna do something because Chino is the best daughter in this damn series. I'm just shaking my head at that. But that was the only way she was going to come out. Because Chino had to literally say, let's play. <gasps> well, dang. You know, hold up. We only got like two more minutes left. And we're not going to be able to see it in this episode. So, are they gonna? We're gonna see them in, in the finale next week, right? Like, come on! It would make sense to see the cottage and everything all next week. I think you will. Fun in a way. They better show it in these last two episodes. I swear to God. I mean, it would make the most sense. Like, they could do one episode with them camping. And then another episode of them coming home, possibly. Or if they do show it in this next episode, only maybe the first half of the episode will be the camping section. And then the second half, probably be them coming home and then talking more about it. And it's, I don't know. But it was a sweet episode. I mean, to find out that Midori, Aoyama, Blue Mountain, my best girl, went to that school. 
<laughs> Shut up. And Liz, and was the one who did everything. And of course, her freaking editor, who went to the same school as her, is still with her even till today. She kind of gave me feels towards um, Shigure <laughs> and Fruits Basket and how <laughs> both Aoyama and Shigure are both novelists. And the fact is that they're always late on their ish, but they do get their ish done. So, I mean, come on, you have to applaud them and know that, yes, they're going to get their ish done no matter what the heck it is. It's just, you know, you have your editors who are immediately on the phone and be like, hey, where's your manuscript? I need to, like, A, stop, like, now. It, it's kind of like how with the girls in Comic Girls, um, the pink girls, uh, <laughs> won, no matter how many times she went, they always rejected her because the story was so similar. And they're like, well, we've seen this before until finally... The last episode of the series, she finally had something that was so adorable, and I loved it. Stardust? Meow, meow. Oh my god, look at me! Meow! But, okay, I really, honestly cannot wait to see how these last two episodes are gonna go, what could possibly happen. I mean, the way this episode ends, it is kind of really assuming that, yeah... Episode 11 could be them get just camping the whole entire time or just doing outdoor activities plus camping and everything. Um, because they're going to be at this cottage for two days. But I feel like the way they've set this up, going into episode 11, by the time I watch it, probably today's now Sunday. Um, but by the time you guys see it, it'll be Wednesday. Maybe I think I'll have time either on Tuesday or Thursday to watch the last two episodes. I just don't want it to be like... A little hyped up for me and then I watch it either on Tuesday or Thursday or whatever day that I have free time and I don't have a lot of stuff um shows to watch in the day uh or whatever and I watch it and they're not camping I mean I've seen shows do that in the past where they're like oh hey we're ready to do this and then the following episode <laughs> remember when we went camping guys or did this and then you're sitting here you know like hey I secretly wanted to see that I think it would have been really nice but then it's like no we don't have time to show all that. But whatever really happens next week, it's going to be really good. But I cannot believe that by really in a couple of days, like I said, whenever I watch it, I'll be done with this show. And then I'll be watching the OVAs, which I think both OVAs are like, I think one of them is an hour and 30 minutes. And I think the other one's just an hour. I'm not sure yet. I know I have, I think one or both of them, but I think I accidentally deleted them because I was making, um, freeing up space for my computer but if I do still have them I'll probably check after I'm done watching pretty here because it's not seven o'clock and I gotta get that out tonight um then yeah probably like sometime next week I'll be able to watch it but then after that we'll be done with this show completely and then we gotta wait until next year for season three which we all know season three is gonna be good and I hope I cannot wait I really want season three to kind of start in winter because Bang Dream Season 3 is officially starting and I cannot wait. It's going to be the best thing about winter. And then a couple of new things are coming. But, like, typically every, like, how everybody says, the first, like, uh, month of the new season, especially for anime, is just really kind of sequels and then a little bit of new things. So I think also, like, Promise Neverland and a, a whole bunch of other things are also airing at that time. I'm not 100% sure. But I ain't gonna know until I check, like, my anime list or whatever. But, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of season 2 of Is Me Going a Rabbit. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for the, for the finale. Once again, I am sorry I didn't have this come out last week. And I know a lot of people... I don't think a lot of people were going to message me or anything. But still, I know people were probably wondering, like, she didn't watch this The Order Rabbit this week. Is something going on? Did she, like, drop it? Because I've had people ask me that in the past with so many other shows that I've watched because of the fact is, if it's been several days since the show has come out, and if I'm busy trying to get something else, I've had people either message me on Twitter, on um, YouTube, anything of <laughs> what I have a social media of, and if you could find me, I literally will have people message the cop at me and be like, hey, you haven't done this episode. Did you drop it? And like, he, he, I haven't dropped it yet. Cause like it, it happened with pretty cure one day. And I was like, look, pretty cure is, I don't even have it. Like no matter where the heck I go, I cannot find the newest episode of pretty cure. And so I have to tell people, I'm like, 
just calm down. I'm like, I'm going to find it and I'm going to watch it. I'm like, something else has to happen. But yeah, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.